Okay, so we have our working Sudoku, but we have to check if it's filled. So first off, we need a new class, which is going to be called Sudoku Checker. This is also going to be a singleton class, so let's make a private static Sudoku checker and generator and it's called instance just to get uh, get a connection from everything so private Sudoku checker this is going to be our uh, constructor it and we need a getter method for our instance so static uh, sudoku checker get in stance if instance equals null then instance equals new sudoku checker and return is stance okay so we have to check horizontally vertically and we have to check the regions I am going to make four one two three four five methods for this first it's going to be public void not void boolean to give back if it's um, true if it's uh, solved false otherwise and this is going to be check sudoku and we pass the array of our sudoku okay and it is going to return three things first check horizontal pass the sudoku or check vertical sudoku and or check region so and pass the sudoku so this way if one of them returns with a false, then it's not solved. So just create the methods. And organize a bit. And this is going to be at the bottom. So let's start with a uh, horizontal. So we need to go through the y axis. So int y equals 0, y is smaller than 9, y plus plus. For the x axis, we also need to go from 0 to 9, but I'm going to call this x pause and this is going to be equal 0 x pause is going to 9 and x pause plus plus now first off we need to check if the position we are standing on is 0 Yep, so let's do this. I like it with uppercase. Let's change this. So, Shudaku expose and y equals zero, then return false because we have an unfilled position. Otherwise, we go from int 
equals x position plus 1 to x is smaller than 9 int x no and x equals x plus, plus 1 and go to all the array and we check if sudoku x pos y equals sudoku x and y or sudoku x y equal zero and the return false if one of them is false so the basic idea is as you can see we are going let me show you so we are going on the y-axis after that here we start with this we check if it's zero if it's zero we return with a false check should the coup returns with a false then we go from here check if this is equal with this um, or it is zero if one of them is like if this is true like this is a zero like oh, we can't um, delete that so if this is a zero then we return with a false this returns with a false sudoku is not solved this part is just comparing it okay then next expose is going to equal with this first check it's a zero it's not a zero and this is going to going to check if this equal with this then this equals with this and so on so this is the basic idea uh, behind check horizontal um, otherwise return true if so we made through all these they are not zero or there is no duplicate then the second row third row and if all is going um, all. so if never if there are no duplicates and no zeros then we return with a true so check vertical is going to be just the same so for just uh, speed things up I'm just going to change the names and this is going to be X and Y pause this is uppercase Y Y pause Y Y pause X and Y pause okay check vertical is working check regions is a bit tougher so here I'm going to create a helper method which is going to be a private boolean check region without an s and this is going to get also an integer uh, an array of array of integer uh, gets a sudoku and int x region and also a y region this is also an integer and return true so here check regions is going to be two for loops int x region equals zero x region is smaller than three because as you can see this is a region this is a region and this is a region so 
um, x region plus plus. Also for the y axis, and we call this helper method. So if not check region should I call x region y reason uh, region return false so if this returns with a false then this whole thing returns with a false and this whole thing returns with a false and at the end return with a true if we can go through the whole Shudoku and there is there was no problem so this is a toughest one we have <laughs> four cycles so int x position equals x region times 3 x pos is smaller than x region times 3 plus 3 and x pos plus plus so the basic idea is that x region has can be 0 1 2 so if it's 0 then it's going to be the x position is going to be 0 because x region times 3 0 times 3 is 0 x region times 3 0 plus 3 then x position can go to 0 1 2 if it's 1 then it's going to be from 3 4 5 and so on so the next thing is for int y position equals y region times 3 it's, this is the same it's smaller than y region times 3 plus 3 and y pos plus plus um, so here the x is going to be start from x position like we did here just it's not going to be going from 0 to 9 it's going from x region times 3 to x region times 3 plus 3 uh, yep yeah. int is equal x position x is smaller than x region times 3 plus 3 x plus plus and the same for the y yeah and if x not equals x pause or y not equals y pause and shudoku x pos y pos equals shudoku x and y or shudoku x oh my god x and y equal zero return false so what this does is if x is equal with this x position um, then then it's going to return with a f going going to skip that now it's going to return false so basically what we can't do that 
uh, we go from x position plus 1 because that way we would start and just look this six uh, cells so we have to tell that when we are here we don't check itself but here we can check if the y is equal with y position okay and the return false uh, return true at the end and i'm just going to create a function here that public void check game if uh, check engine no check now sudoku checker sudoku checker dot get instance dot check sudoku and we pass the sudoku in uh, oh we can use the functions we did previously get grid oh it's returning with a um, sudoku cell okay we have to make a a new array let's call this i don't know should grid and four int equals zero x is smaller than nine x plus plus four int y equals zero y is smaller than nine y plus plus actually do i need this mm. yeah because we don't store the integers yeah that's kind of not the best solution but second how I did this previously because I don't want to make um, yeah. so it's basically not uh, the ideal solution because every time we will check we have to create this new grid and uh, that is just wasting memory so but for now it's going to be good enough so just that item dot get value okay and here we just tell should grid and if it's then those dot make text uh, this is going to be context and this is going to be you solve the sudoku and duration is those dot I don't know let's make it long and show and here I'm going to create a private context variable and here this dot context equals context so we can show the check should coup and I'm going to uh, in the game engine when we set the number we 
also want to check if it's solved or not. So let's grid dot check game. And for testing purposes, I'm going to modify our generator and remove just only one element so we can just easily find out if it's working. Okay, here we need one, two, three, four, five, we need a six and use of the Shudoku. But test is if so test if it's not showing in all cases. So here we need one, two, three. This is a four. So as you can see it not showing that we solved. So here we need five, here we need also a five and you solve the Shudoku. Okay, I think we finished our Shudoku game. Feel free to comment, hit the like button, subscribe, do whatever you want. Thank you for watching. Bye.